This handsome guy here is Coulomb. And today we'll talk about Coulomb's law. Coulomb speculated that three factors affected the force of attraction or repulsion between charged objects. The first is the magnitude of the charge on one of the objects. Let's use these two objects as an example. We'll assume that they are charged like, in other words, one's positive and the other's positive. As a result, they feel a force of repulsion. As Newton's third law says, the force of repulsion between the two is equal and opposite. Coulomb suggested that if the charge on one of the objects, let's say object one, were to increase, then the force that it exerted on object two would also increase. Newton's third law says that if that force increased, it's because of a mutual force of repulsion between the objects, so the force of charge two on charge one would also increase. If we were to graph this relationship, it would look a little something like this. There's our axes. We'll put charge If we graph the relationship, it would look a little something like this. As the charge on object 1 increases, so does the repulsive force, in such a way that we end up with a linear relationship. It turns out that if you do the same thing to charge 2 and increase its charge, it also has the effect of increasing the force that it pushes on charge 1, and therefore the force that charge 1 pushes back on charge 2. The result is once again a linear relationship. Changing the charge has a direct relationship on the repulsive force between the two objects. The third factor that Coulomb investigated was the distance between the objects referred to as R in this diagram. If at distance R there's a mutual force of repulsion shown in this diagram, then increasing the distance causes a change in the force by reducing it. We'll increase the radius to this point, then the forces drop off between the objects. If we were to graph it, we would end up a graph with a graph that looks a little something like this. As you can see from the graph, as the distance increases, the repulsive force decreases. The closer the objects are, the more force they feel between them. But this time, it's not a linear relationship. It's an inverse relationship between the distance between the objects and the resulting repulsive force. After much investigation and experimentation, graphing and crunching numbers, Coulomb ultimately came up with the following relationship which we refer to as Coulomb's Law, says that the force of attraction or repulsion between two objects at a distance is equal to some constant K multiplied by the charge on one object multiplied by the charge on the second object divided by the distance between the objects squared. Now the force is measured in newtons and the distance between the objects in meters we still have the question of what is Coulomb's constant and how do we measure the charge on the two objects? We know the nature of charge has got something to do with the excess or lack of electrons in an object, but this hasn't always been known. Historically, charge on objects has been measured in units called Coulombs. Now you should know that a Coulomb is an extremely large amount of charge. So generally speaking, we work in the order of micro or milli Coulombs. Coulomb's constant was something that was discovered as a consequence of this relationship. It has a value of 8.99 times 10 to the 9th Newtons times meter squared per Coulomb squared. This formula should look somewhat familiar to you. It's very similar to Newton's law of universal gravitation. 
both follow similar relationships, although Newton's law of gravitation dealt with objects with mass separated at a distance. Coulomb's law deals with charged particles separated by some distance and the resulting force between them.